Joining us now, Athletic Director from San Diego State University, John David Wicker. J.D., we appreciate your time this morning. Hey, before we go down this road of a, of a very complex uh, situation that we are in, I just wanted to say uh, how excited both Nick and I are to have San Diego State University and Aztec Sports on Extra 1360. Well, good morning, gentlemen. And, yes, we are excited to be part of the uh, iHeart and 1360 family and all of the sister stations uh, looking for a, you know, a great couple of years with you guys. It's the home of the Aztecs. Well, thank you for the time, J.D. All right, so yesterday you came on with the Cannons. You spent 22 minutes kind of laying out the issues that you had with the FS Investors' proposals, but we didn't get your reaction to the comments from the mayor's office and Ron Fowler from the Padres towards San Diego State. So if you could please give us a little bit of reaction towards those comments. Um, well, you know, obviously it's a, uh, it, there is a stadium issue there and which is front of mind, uh, to myself and obviously our football program. And, you know, we have a two year lease, uh, at Qualcomm. There's a two year lease extension sitting at city hall that was basically agreed to, uh, last fall and was basically waiting for the signature process that would have taken us through the 2020 season. And, inexplicably it just stopped uh we didn't hear anything so uh you know there's still potential movement on that obviously the mayor put his statement out yesterday um you know i think the bigger thing i see in that is we keep and i realize that we're on sports talk radio right now we're talking about a stadium which is 15 acres of 166 acre site and from a san diego state standpoint we're looking at the greater, you know, the academic mission of the university and how do we ensure that San Diego State is able to grow and service the San Diego community like we want it to in the future. And I think that's also what, what, the, what the city council would like as well with how important a university is to a city. J.D., just to go a little bit deeper on the mayor's comments or the city council's comments, they've said, while we are still willing to engage with SDSU, this decision has unfortunately put the university in a situation moving forward where this process will move forward without their involvement, end quote. Do you feel as if you may have forced the city's hands a bit, and there's, is there any concern that you could miss out on Mission Valley altogether? Uh, well, you know, we had almost two years of discussion with FS, with the city, and our visions didn't align. Um, the stadium, you know, while there was some movement on the stadium, there were some pieces that we just really couldn't, we couldn't agree on. And then, you know, we laid it out very clearly that we felt like 35 acres in Mission Valley was a minimum for the university uh, to move forward. And obviously that was not able to be, you know, we, we couldn't figure that out uh, from the mayor and from the FS side. And we've said all along, we're not looking for a handout. We will take whatever deal the developers get. We'll pay fair market value. And that has not been an option that was laid out to us. John David Wicker, San Diego State Aztec Athletic Director on Extra 1360 Fox Sports San Diego. J.D., if you wanted to be treated like any other developer, couldn't you just buy the 35 acres from the FS investors? Um, they would have to sell it to us uh, at a price that, you know, obviously was something that, you know, we could, do, we, we could afford, we could work with. And, well, first they would have to sell us 35 acres. Um to get to that, Has that been discussed number at all? of acreage. So, I'm sorry, what was that? Has that been discussed at all, buying the 35 acres from them in negotiations when you were still at the table? Um, we have discussed property that uh, we would be able to purchase or through the city. You know, it's city-owned property. So, yes, the city could sell us or lease us 35 acres for the growth of San Diego State University. And obviously, we haven't been able to get that. J.D., is a, is a relationship between you and the FS investors, the university and the FS investors, dead is dead? Uh, you know, at this point, yes, we're moving on. We have, you know, again, we've spent almost two years, and it's time to move forward in the next process. And we would love to see an RFP, whether that, you know, goes on to the ballot as another initiative. Um, whether the city council can, however they would figure that out, to write an RFP to make it an open and collaborative process to allow 
uh, you know, all the different developers in town or wherever they may be to put forward what their idea is. The problem with an initiative is the initiative's written, you can't change it. There's nothing that can be done to change it, and any side letters or side agreements aren't necessarily legally binding because the initiative was voted on by the citizens. J.D., whose responsibility would it be to write up an initiative for a request for a proposal? If you're out there listening and you hear RFP, that's a request for a proposal. That would be a bidding process on the property. Whose responsibility would that be? Could San Diego State also offer up an initiative? Um, it, it, if, so right now, uh, there's talk of the special election in November. That has not been approved by the city council. Um, so if a, a special happens in November and the FS initiative is put on the special, there's not enough time right now for another developer or SDSU to write an initiative that would do that. However, it's my understanding that the city council could, if they chose to put an initiative on the ballot as well, could do that. J.D., from a, a, a JMI or a Manchester group, is there a group currently that you've been in talks with most and that you believe possibly could have legs moving down the road? Uh, you know, there's. we've talked with everybody again. You know, we started with FS. We've talked with JMI. We've talked with the Manchester group. Um, the biggest thing for any of the other groups out there is there is no process right now. Uh, FS chose to take the citizens' initiative route, um, which, again, they've done. The rest of the developers would look to have the open collaborative process. That's generally how large, you know, pieces of property like this are handled and have been handled in the future so that you can, you know, you make sure you account for all of the different needs within the city to make it the best use for the city. J.D. Wicker, San Diego State Athletic, Athletic Director. Are you essentially asking that the city council not have a special election in November? Um, no, that's up to the city council to determine if, uh, you know, one, the convention center piece, and then also uh, then choosing to put the SF, FS initiative on there. That's up to the city council to determine if they want to have the special in November or if they want to schedule it some other time. J.D., you could probably imagine that, that uh, people out there, whether they're MLS fans or whether they just want something new, perhaps turn the page on the Chargers and get Mission Valley developed, restaurants, shops, a lot of fun. And I think people want it to get going, right? It's, a, we, it's kind of the world we live in a little bit with immediacy. Where are you as far as how quickly you would like to know what is going to happen Mission Valley? Is there is there a drop-dead date where you would like everything just to be about decided for? Because everyone else is in a hurry, and I think San Diego State University, people feel as if they're taking their time. Um, I don't think it's we're taking our time. We're looking for an appropriate process uh, and make, ensuring that San Diego State University has an opportunity to you know grow not only in the short term but in the long term in Mission Valley. We're... You know, we have 238 acres up here on the Mesa. And, you know, while we're almost busting at the seams, we certainly will be in the coming years. And, you know, we need a West Campus. And Mission Valley is the perfect place to put a West Campus to move the university into that, you know, top 50 research institution. So, you know, as you look at a November, a, a November special and, you know, whatever might happen there, our hope would be, that there's a path forward for San Diego State to have 35 acres, you know, at a minimum in Mission Valley. And then also we can start the process, hopefully, of constructing a football stadium at the same time. J.D., what would bring San Diego State back to the table with the FS investors? Um, I, you know, I, I don't know that there's a path there now. Again, we've spent two years, almost two years, discussing this. We've laid out very clearly what the needs are of San Diego State University. And it's been very clear that 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 vision does not mesh with the vision that FS has for Mission Valley and that they want to develop. They want a development that helps pay for a soccer, an MLS soccer franchise, and for a stadium. So the, the opportunity for San Diego State, the academic side, to grow in Mission Valley just doesn't meet with their vision. J.D., just so we're, we're clear, and I think that this would help a lot of people out, what is best-case scenario for SDSU? Um, 
you know, best case scenario is for us to have the opportunity to grow in Mission Valley. And if that's, you know, an RFP process that happens uh, based on a, you know, a November ballot or whenever a special might be that starts that process, that would be great. And then, you know, let's say again that it's a November ballot and the Soccer City Initiative is not successful, that we would be able to lease or purchase land to build a multi-use stadium, and we could get that process started so that we could be ready to play in September of 2020 when, you know, when we would need to. And that would be, you know, it would be a multi-use stadium. I'm interested in having a partner. I would love to have MLS as my partner uh, to build a stadium because, you know, it, it, it helps on the financial side and it helps on the expense side. What happens if the initiative does pass in November? I mean, the FS investors were able to gather over 100,000 signatures in just over two weeks, and their polling numbers are quite strong on this initiative. What happens to San Diego State if the FS investors' plan does go through, and will you just be in a more vulnerable position to come back to the negotiating table? Yeah, I, I think one of the things that's been well documented is, yes, 112,000 signatures in two weeks, but this was documented in the paper, as I was told by numerous alumni, as I saw in different places, the signature gatherers were advertising a San Diego State State, as well as a soccer stadium and whatever else they came up with. So... You know, yes, it was very popular, but San Diego State was a part of that narrative publicly, while we may not have been a part of that narrative, you know, working behind the scenes. Um, if the initiative passes in November, then that's a discussion that we'll have to have uh, in November as to, you know, what that might look like. I, I can't speculate on what that would look like at this point. J.D., uh, as you can imagine, a sports talk station, we are much more excited about September 2nd when Aztec football gets started. Uh, but <laughs> we did our best, and we appreciate your time today discussing what is a very complex situation with Mission Valley. Gentlemen, I appreciate it. We're, we're excited and looking forward to, you know, a great season. And, um, you know, with, with season ticket sales have been going phenomenally, and we've got a great home schedule, and I think we'll have a very exciting season. J.D., thanks for your time. Enjoy your day. Thank you, guys.